What's going on, guys? I got a new mower, finally. Let's see uh, if this one could hold up better than the Lawn Boy. Um, this is the Troy Belt 230. Um, this is the Geek to Freak mower. Um, TB 230. Yeah, the reason I got this one had nothing to do with Geek to Freak, but let me tell you. The way he uses that thing, man, this should last. This should uh, definitely be a great mower, uh, you know, for the way I use it, you know. But, um, now the reason I, I got it was it was the cheapest mower on the market that had that handle right there. I like the trigger better than just the, the bar to pull back. I don't know. It just seems it's more comfortable. Seems I feel like I have more control. Um this is all the info on it. It's got 163cc, 7.25 foot pounds of torque. The lawn boy was 6.75. So this has more. Also it has I think the the lawn boy was 149cc. This is 163. So, we'll see if the extra power makes a difference. Um, but yeah, I'm going to open this up. I'm going to put it on pause. And then you can check it out. Oh, I do have an hour meter also that I'm going to hook up. You guys know I love those power hour meters. Alright, hold on one second. Okay, here it is. The bad boy out of the box. Let me move this over. That's what it came with. It came with the bag here. Pretty nice bag, actually. It's pretty big. Probably two bushel bag. That's what they all are these days. Two bushel. I believe the Toro there for the Time Master is two and a half, maybe three. I don't know. It does carry a lot of leaves in it. And grass clippings, but so this is what you get. Here's the oil side discharge shoot instructions. Here's the oil. You probably have to put the whole container in. Side discharge gets hooked up right there. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I've heard some bad things about this engine, but um. I don't know. I've had some good dealings with Briggs lately, so it didn't really bother me. But something with the spark plug, I read some reviews on that uh, somehow loses spark. But this is it, man. I think uh, I got, it has the high wheel in the back, 11 inches. I believe the front is 7. But, um, you know, Troy Belt was made by MTD. Um, you know, the same company that makes Poland Pro, you know, Troy Built, Cub Cadet. Um, there's a couple other brands it makes. But, um, yeah, it's a pretty big, big company. They do a lot of big box store stuff. Um, but, you know, personally, I think Troy Built is a well-made, well-made company. You know, they make good products. Even our Cub Cadet stuff, I've never had a problem with. But um, you know, my first mower I ever got actually was a Troy Belt, and uh, you know I had that five six years just a push mower, you know, self propelled, and you know, sold it for like fifty bucks before I started doing all this stuff. But um, I've had good, you know, dealings with with Troy Belt in the past, so I'm excited and hopefully. Um, this thing will hold up. Like I said, Geek the Freak, man. He uses his puppy pretty good. I don't know how many hours he must have on his. He must have, damn, 1,500 hours. So, hopefully I get half of that. Hopefully I get a third of that. I'd be happy. <laughs> so, all right, here it is. Any comments, questions? Anything like that, let me know.
All right, I just want to show you the, uh, this is what I was talking about. Right there. I love this trigger mechanism. You can control the speed by this. I just think it's, you have more control, it's more comfortable. But, I like it. I like it a lot. All right, but anyway, any comments, questions, hit me up. Later.